today we're going to talk about selects and nested select statements. We've already seen how select statements can be built to make queries from our database. In this class we're going to look at how we can combine two or more select statements to choose data based on the results of a query. Selects can be nested inside each other but they can also be nested inside of things like update, insert, delete, actions that you may want to uh, occur on a big set of data. Our example data set is our student data. We have one table which has three students in it. We have a table with some grades and some classes and a table with some instructors and the classes that they have taught. You can download all of the example data set from our website at sdsu.edu. Our first example is to find the instructor that had the lowest grade, the toughest instructor out of them all. One way that we could do this is starting by finding the lowest score. We could have a select statement that would choose the lowest score from all of the grades. The lowest score is 3.2. We can now write another select statement that builds on that that says tell me the instructor who has the lowest score. We've already seen how to build inner joins and this is an example where we'd like an inner join because we know the score, 3.2, and we know that there must be an instructor involved with that score. So at this point we can select our name from instructor, we can inner join that on our grade table using our common keys which are class and year. We're going to limit our choice to just those options where score is equal to 3.2. When we run this query we get a single name returned, the professor that scored the lowest score. Of course if two professors had scored their classes with 3.2 we would have two professors returned. However, next semester next year, next month, that lowest score may change. And we may want to uh, rewrite or we may have to rewrite our query to adapt to the new lowest score. So it would be really nice if instead of having to write down that 3.2 and put that in our query each time, we could just make one select statement that said tell me the lowest score and then find the person that has that lowest score. We can combine those in one join statement. A naive approach would be to say let's just choose the instructor where the score is equal to the minimum of score. If you build this select statement shown and run it you get an error because this is not a valid statement. The min score command can't be used as part of a where statement like this. Instead, we need to actually build our select statement from the ground up. We need to start by selecting the minimum score from grade. We use that as a nested select, as a subquery in our previous query. In this case, we can just directly apply that to the select statement that we've already seen. Our result is the same we get the name of the professor that provided the lowest score, but we have to make two different queries. One to find the lowest score and then one to combine that with the name and the year of the professors. Let's see how that subquery is built up. We start by selecting the minimum score from grade. We've already seen that, we know that that returns 3.2 with the current data set. We put that select statement in parentheses and 
we provide that as an argument to our outer select statement where we're selecting name from instructor and we've got an inner join to build a more complex select statement. Here's another example. We're going to try and find out whether a student took a class before one of our instructors taught it. Here's our classes, that the grades rather, that our students with their IDs acquired in each class. And here's the instructors and the classes that they've taught. We can see by looking at this table that one of our students took a class in 2005, but none of our instructors taught a class in 2005. And we're going to try and identify who that student was and the year that they took the class. Of course, in this simple set, it's very easy to see. But if you have a much larger table, you couldn't do that just by looking at the table. So we're going to start by identifying the minimum of the year values from the instructor. So this will be the lowest year, the, the first year that the classes are listed. Of course, the minimum year is 2006. We just saw that in our table. And we're going to select ID and class from grade where year is less than 2006. So this will tell us which students took which classes before 2006, before any of our instructors taught these classes. There we go. Student 124 took class CS310 before 2006. Notice that we have a less than, so that we're in our select statement, we're identifying things anything less than 2006. So to build a more complex query, we start with our select min year from instructor, and we use that as a nested query where we select ID and class from grade where all of the years are less than the min year from instructor. That gives us the same answer that we've already seen. We select the year from the instructor again, but an alternative way of doing it, instead of identifying the minimum year, is using the keyword all. So we can identify any ID or class from grade where year is less than all of the results that are returned by select year from instructor. It gives us the same result as we would hope. The key is the keyword all. So we've seen two different ways of identifying students who took classes before our instructors taught them. In the first case, we used min year to identify the minimum year. And in the second case, we used the keyword all to choose any year less than all of our res results that were returned. So we have three different types of subqueries. In the first case, we select some values based on a single value that's returned as a subselect. So here we're selecting ID from student where the name is SDEN. This is going to return a single value, and we're using that single value in our outer select statement. So this is a scalar subquery. It returns a scalar, a single value. In our second case, we select all of the years from instructor. This returns a whole column and is called a column subquery. Year is the column from the table instructor. And then in the third case, we're going to select class and year from a particular table grade where the score is less than 3.5. And notice we've got a slightly different syntax here. 
we're going to select name class year from instructor where the tuple of class year is in the class year that's returned from grade where grade is less than 3.5 this is a row subquery you should try each of these subqueries on the example data set that I provided for you we can also build more complicated select statements where we're not only putting the select as a subselect but we're actually using the select in the from part of the select so in this example here I'm going to select the ID and the percent but we don't have a column called percent so in my subselect I've selected ID and my score multiplied by 25 and I've set an alias to that as percent I'm selecting those values and I'm going to make them a temporary table I call that temp table percent is an alias for score times 25 temp table is an alias for the subquery for the whole subquery what does this query return you should try this query on the example data set and see if you can think about see if you can understand what it's going to return before you try it and see if you get the answer you expect did you try it let's take a look and see if you got the answer that I got the way this query is built is that we're going to compare class and year from the two tables so we're going to identify the cases where class is the same and year is the same and we've seen different ways of writing that uh, statement and we're going to choose the, those cases where the score is less than 3.5 but look at what we're going to return in this subselect all we're going to return is one if those conditions are met we're not actually going to return any of the numbers from our database that's okay because our conditional is where exists and one exists zero doesn't exist so in this case we're going to choose name ID and year from instructor where we get the class and the year the same and the score is less than 3.5 that'll tell us the instructors that are scoring less than 3.5 this is called a dependent or a correlated subquery this returns two values it returns the two cases where the score is less than 3.5 from the data but it just returns the name the ID and the year this is a pretty complex subquery and that's why I wanted you to think about it before I told you the answer here's an even more complex subquery select subq.name as instructor student.name as pupil class subq.year percent from select grade.id name class year score times 25 as percent from grade in a join that with instructor using class and year as sub q in a join student using id where percent is greater than 90 
Have you had a chance to try this query and see what it returns? Let's take a look. It returns those cases where the student's score is greater than 90% and the percent is, divide, is defined as score multiplied by 25. It not only returns those students, it also returns the instructor, the pupil, the class, the year and the percent. I use pupil here just to distinguish it from student. So there's many aliases that are used. Percent is used as an alias for score times 25. Sub Q is used as an alias for this inner select. Percent is used outside of the sub select in one of our where statements. And the sub Q is used outside to distinguish exactly which name and which year we would like to uh, have in our output table. Remember we had two different columns named year. And then finally we set up some aliases sub Q.name as instructor and student.name as pupil so that our output table is actually quite clear about whether we are looking at the instructor or the pupil and we don't have a column, two columns that are just called name. So in this lesson we've looked at subqueries. They allow dynamic select statements to be used as part of a select and they allow you to combine different queries. Remember you can't, don't only have to use select statements in, in select statements, you can use them in updates, inserts and deletes.